Aerosarinen's iconic TWA flight center at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York was completed in 1962. But as planes got bigger and airport security became tighter, the structure proved impractical. It was abandoned in 2001. A $65 million project has brought new life to the flight center. Saarinen's building now serves as a spectacular lobby for the TWA Hotel, which opened to the public in May 2019. The flight center belongs to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. In 1994, when the building was landmarked, its owners hired a preservation expert to come up with a plan for saving the historic structure. That expert was Richard Southwick, a partner with Bayer Blinder Bell. More than a decade later, his firm became the project and preservation architect when the development company, MCR, leased the property in 2015. The CEO of MCR, Tyler Morse, assembled a team to create the TWA Hotel. Lebrano Chavara Architects designed two new hotel buildings, which sit behind Saarinen's Flight Center. Inc. Architecture and Design created new public interior spaces, most of which lie below grade. Stonehill Taylor designed the hotel rooms and some other interiors, and Matthews Nielsen was the landscape architect. The developer presented his plans for the hotel to some 14 preservation groups and received their blessing. He also consulted the Finnish ambassador to the U.S., who wanted to make sure that Saarinen's masterpiece would be well cared for. The design team restored and repurposed the Saarinen building with ingenuity and wit. The old flight check-in desk is now the hotel's check-in area, where a conveyor belt behind the counter transports luggage to storage. Furniture throughout the public spaces is designed almost entirely by Saarinen's contemporaries, like Asami Noguchi, Warren Platner, and Raymond Lowy. There's even furniture by Mies van der Rohe, purchased from the old Four Seasons restaurant in New York. Saarinen's famous red carpeted tubes, which once led to TWA planes, now serve as passageways to two new seven-story hotel buildings. The 512 guest rooms have just the right mid-century look, including Saarinen's womb chairs, upholstered in TWA red. Glazed walls are an incredible seven layers thick to block out noise. That's four and a half inches. From the outside, the black glass hotel buildings are simple and spare, intentionally subordinate to Saarinen's thin shell concrete bird. They effectively disappear while, at the same time, reflecting the historic architecture.